Hey. How is he? Better. The antibiotics are working. Good. Wait, wait, wait. What? He's still angry. I wonder why. My husband can't even look me in the face or my son, and it's all your fault. I'm sorry, Amanda. No, you're not. That's a discussion for later, right? Now we got bigger things to worry about. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Dad, are you still in suspension because of that mess with David? That, that was resolved. No, it is. It is. It was. Well, why aren't you on scrubs? No, because I quit. I'm leaving Pine Valley today. Where will you go? Bye. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, Dan. I just, you know... I just know that I can't stay here. You're disappointed. Well, <clears throat> I'm not disappointed in you. I, I've watched you this whole past year with nothing but pride. Nothing but pride. Where you fought for Amanda and your son. Well, you know that he's not really my son, right? I was never really Trevor's father. Oh, come on. In every way that counts, you were. You still are. I mean, it's the same as me and your brother. Yeah, except Ted's bi biological wasn't anything like David Hayward, right? <laughs> Ted's was Ray Gardner. You tell me uh, which one is worse. Oh, I mean, you're better mad than me, Dad. Uh, you always were. You love that little boy? You know, sometimes love is not really enough. Every time I look at Amanda, Bob, I, I just see her with... I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I don't want to make this any harder for you. Well, that would be impossible. All right, so... Uh, there is, however, the one thing that I, I should let you know. Uh, what? Your mother and I are uh, making plans to retire. You know, think you're moving out of town. Really? What? Mm. You love Pine Valley. I do, and I'll always miss it, but uh, time for change. Dad, that's huge. What about the hospital? Well, that is where you were supposed to come in. Used to have plans to stay on here with Amanda and raise a family. So every time I looked at you, I saw the next generation. So you wanted me to pick up where you left off? I don't think even Jake knows where he's headed. But I was hoping if you spoke with him, you could get him to stay. I'm the reason he's leaving. No, oh, Amanda, the reason he's leaving is right there. Yeah, of course it is. Guess it's always my fault, right? Yeah, that's right, Dave. If you hadn't cooked up your sadistic little scheme, none of this would be happening. My sadistic little scheme? I'm not the one who faked a child's death. No, you'd rather stick the moral high ground, force a woman to rent out her womb. Jake and Amanda could have said no. And given up to any shot they had at a life together. Yeah, what a deal. You had him by the throat and you'd know it. Listen, he's still here. Do me a favor, find him and talk with him. God willing, you turn this thing around. I'm sorry, Amanda. I'm sure this must be difficult for you. Difficult? I am done. I am done with you and this house. Oh, wait a minute. Um, that's not how it works, Amanda. You signed a contract. I don't care about the stupid contract, okay? You take me to court if you have to, but I am not staying one more minute here. Right. And what about Trevor? He comes with me. Bad news giving you a key to my house. Who cares? It's not going to matter by tomorrow. No, it's not. What do you want to do? You want to lock me in my house? You want to you wanna put me to bed without my supper? No. I trust you know what you're doing. Thank you. Same way I did when I went to see Amanda. You went to see Amanda? Oh, yeah. You didn't tell her that I was leaving, did you? Sure I did. David, too? Trevor stays right here. He's my son. Right, and the fact that I'm his mother... It's the only reason you're not in jail right now. You and your beloved Jake. 
So instead of throwing empty threats in my face, maybe you should be getting on your knees and thanking me. I will never thank you for keeping me prisoner. Well, I'm sorry you see it that way. It's the only way to see it, Dave. I don't belong here. This is not my home. You are not my family. And I am done letting you play make-believe. I'll be back for our things. You have no rights to this child. Then take me to court. Six months. Are you on crack? I'm not gonna be here six more minutes, let alone six months. No, I mean me. I have six months. Oh my God, what are you talking about? That's how long I have left to live. Your dad. Yes. I realize this is a big shock for you. It's a load of crap. I say I'm leaving so you up the ante. <laughs> wow, anything to get me to stay. Amanda, I'm sick. So why are you telling me this now? Because you're threatening to take Trevor. And I only have a few <sighs> months left. I'd like to spend it with my son. So if you don't have much time left, why are you trying to get me pregnant again? I didn't know about the six months until a few days ago. I thought I'd be able to meet my new child. And then leave it right away? That doesn't make sense. Well, I was doing it for Trevor. At least that's what I was telling myself. I wanted to give him a baby brother or sister. But if I was honest with myself, I'd have to admit that yes, I was doing it for me too. My children are my legacy pieces of me left on this earth. I was scared, Amanda, of death, the unknown. I guess it was my way of fighting back, of finding comfort and the idea of somehow living on. So what is it? What's wrong with you? It's a blood disorder. Malignant erythritosis. Never heard of it. Not many people have. It's all right here in black and white. Six months. And then I'm gone. Well, thank you very much. Now you've given David all the ammo he needs. He's gonna glom onto Amanda like a blood-sucking leech. Mm, by all means, you're so concerned about Amanda, stick around. I didn't say I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, worried. You, I can I'm... see it. I know you are. You're in love with her. You are crazy about her. I'm not doing this Why with you, not? okay? Well, I'm not doing you're this right now. You're gonna stand here and pretend that you're not curious about what your wife said no. when I told her you're ditching Pine Valley. No, I'm not. I'm not curious at all. You are heartless. Heartless. Stone cold. You're, 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 you're taking her hope. I'm taking her home. You're taking her She hope. took my home. No, first. she didn't. Yes, she no, did. Hayward did that. She really? was trying to get it back. Oh, how'd she do that? By sleeping with that scum? What about Trevor? If you walk out the door, you leave Pine Valley, you're going to lose everything. Everything that matters. Ted, you cannot lose something that was never yours. Trevor was never my son. <laughs>